and then this needs a power line, which we'll just attach over to here. Straight forward. All oh, the hatched, the little sweetle babies. That's fine. That's fine. None of these guys are cramped, right? That's what I need to make sure. All right, all right. Oh, this doesn't have power. I would probably just do it like this. And how is my aluminum? Ooh, okay. So, while I'm clicking and holding, that's all aluminum. And they're not going to skimp me and use another resource type. So, if that's the case, this goes down and then over to here. And then this goes up and over to here. Which would mean I would have went insulated there and insulated here and an insulated tile over here. Because it should be bam, bam, and then bam. That goes across. This pipeline will be temporary anyways. The few, uh, put water into here to put into here and into feed into here temporarily. All right. I haven't even kickstarted that yet, man. It feels weird. So, it is still pretty breathable. There's no more chlorine here. Looks like the uh, gas levels have dropped. I guess that's a good thing. I have the oxygen bomb in here. Seven kilograms of oxygen from the sole oxifer in the corner. That's a lot of oxygen. <laughs> that's a lot of oxygen. That's going to be fun once I open that up. And it looks like this one is the only other one that we could use to start crushing gas again. Oxford's strong. Dude, they don't have a limit. They're just, they're just going to keep going and going and going and going. It's like a Duracell battery, man. Be like that sometimes. Y'all remember those commercials? <gasps> oh, I had eggs in here. Oh, are they going to die? I forgot. Oh, man, you see that? I sweep the eggs because I was like, oh, yeah, we're going to get more Slicksters. And I, I made a bin to relocate the eggs and I forgot to uncheck them. They almost became raw egg. Oh my god, look at that. 3%. Always lucky. I got reminded by the game. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, man. Where are my larva eggs at? I'm sweeping those. Someone remind me. So that I don't get raw eggshells inside. Y'all know what it is. Yo, man, that was, that was close, yo. That was mad close. I can't believe it was that close, man. Holy crap. Alright, so this goes down, because it should come from a sieve at the bottom. Not a lot per cycle? Yeah. They lose, what, 5% viability per cycle? So when 20 cycles go, they, they kind of just huge rip. But we did it in time, boys. We did it in time. That's all that matters. Alright. No power here. I should have that be running. And then this should be going to here. And we wouldn't have a pipeline at the bottom. Because this is just going to be standalone now. We'll just use that water for science or something. Because we will need it for science. It's still not done. Are the rad bolts doing alright? We're utilizing the rad bolts. That's good, that's good. So that means they should be using more power. And it is. Ethanol is going back. Not bad, not bad. So we get some clean water. Good stuff, good stuff. Three point two oxyferns produce. Is that wild or domesticated? Wild oxyferns produce a lot less uh, oxygen when compared to the domesticated ones. 
What's the name of the mod for collecting only one type of debris? It is number four on the list. Number four on the list. Hope that helps, Coop and Hammond. It's a very great mod. Very great mod, dude. Domesticated. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's the... I, I mean, it's not bad, but it's like... You need CO2, though. You need CO2 for that to really work. But it makes 92% per of water into O2. It's pretty good. Isn't the Oxy Ferns uh, production ratio actually pretty efficient? Yeah, right? Yeah, it's better than Electrolyzers in that sense. But Electrolyzers have the upside in the sense that they generate a fuel source. So it allows you to distribute the oxygen a little bit better. Since you're able to use pumps. Because the Oxy Fern doesn't generate any power for you to use. But yeah, it is more efficient. I have people said that. I was like, yeah, it's not bad. I just, it's like, it's only going to be for that area. Pop your drums. You're going to have to spend power that you generate elsewhere in order to relocate that. It's pretty good, though. It's pretty good. All right, so I was going to run the cool slush water up here through a loop. Actually, let's not do that yet. I want to get this running and get some suits running. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Make a make a hamster room so that <laughs> they could power the uh, Atmos suits. That's potentially a thing. Think about that sometimes. Dude, they need to allow you to just deliver suit to like all the docks. I'm getting carpet tunnel just doing this, dude. <laughs> Holy crap, my wrist. Ah, oh, God. Clicking so many times like that. Come on, Clay. Y'all could better my, my, my hands like this. By giving us a deliver suit to all button or something. Alright, alright. This is almost done. We're waiting for aluminum. Oh, any hot tips for managing suit maintenance? Uh, what do you mean managing suit maintenance? Are you talking about uh, when the suits wear out? For the most part... I, it really depends on what you want to do with the waste items. So you probably know when your suit wears out, they drop the oxygen tank on the checkpoint. I actually use that for my space rockets and fill up the inside of the space for a module with one of these. Uh, if you don't want to do that, you could always just have one of these on and click oxygen so that you automatically release any of the extra oxygen that's removed from the suit when it's worn out. Outside of that, I tend to always try to put a uh, exo uh, exos forge suit, exo suit forge blah, 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 inside my uh, living area. But what kind of tips do you need for managing the suits? Uh, I guess if you didn't know, you always want to have this be on vacancy. If you have issues with the suits uh, being dropped off at the beginning, even though they're not worn out. Vacancy is what you're looking for. As that means your dupes are only able to come through this way if there is an open locker like it is at the bottom. If there were suits there, they cannot enter in this way. So that means that you will always dock the suit to recharge every time. But yeah, outside of those tips, I don't know what else you could be talking about. <laughs> Let me know though if that didn't help or if you're looking for something else. Makes a lot of sense, got you. Workout room for the uh, Pelotons. Dude, isn't Peloton the name of the treadmill company? <laughs> hey man, I got a Peloton. It's, it's, it's the uh, at-home treadmill workout bike or something like that. Or is it is it something else? I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen an infomercial about that some time ago.
Helps a lot, actually. Nice. Glad to be uh, able to help, man. All right. So I'm going to have to make another vacuum room. No, not a vacuum room. It's a bike. It is a bike. I knew it. I'm going to make another area for the gens. And it shouldn't be too bad. I do want this to be a liquid lock, though. So let's get that situated. Inside should be just all oxygen. And I think the one thing I will have inside is a sieve. Should be my first thing. They make treadmills too? Deadly treadmills? Wait, deadly treadmills? How is it deadly? Hello, too legit. So that cooling suggestion helped me out a ton. I now have more professional looking cooling solution for both oxygen and metal refinery. Nice. Glad to be able to help. Mainson, always happy, man. But uh, that was when I uh, told you about this design, right? The radiator cooling box? Or was it a different design? I'm sorry, Mainson. I might have uh, forgot exactly what I told you. <laughs> Very sorry about that. Kids were getting injured a while back. They weren't safe. Are they, were they, like, so strong that the kids step on it and they immediately faceplant? <laughs> is, that, is that what was happening, man? That sounds kind of meme -y, but oh my god. The liquid cooling box, nice. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The liquid cooling box helps out a lot. And you know the reason why, right, Mainson? Instead of the metal tile, yeah, 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 yeah. It comes down to mass. When you click on the tile, you go to properties, there is a mass value. Because each individual water tile is a thousand kilograms, it's ten times better than the metal tiles are. And that's going to be the main reason why that always outperforms. <laughs> but hey, glad to be, uh, be able to help, man. Didn't know what was going on. It was just sad. The news, uh, it was in the news too much for a while. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. When you want the news, it's probably a bad thing. I see. I'm probably not going to need transformers for this. So it's just going to be a double hydrogen vent. So this goes in like that. I probably seal this up. Now I'm thinking about having a way to go up here. So a one space gap. I'll leave the one space gap. It's not going to matter too much. And then this is going to be automation. We're going to have to have the gas vents probably come in. I could go into here, into here, because this goes straight into here, straight out. Oh, ha, I got to redo this. Luckily for me, I can't. So this was like this. I need to flip the direction. <laughs> I need to flip the direction of this. So I could go out this way, down that way, and then down that way. I think that works. So that allows me to run this line like this. And then that splits perfectly in the middle. Nice. Don't know what was going on. Just is in the news for too much. Dude, have you seen Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? There was a scene where they bought a new professional, like, gourmet uh, baby bed. That's self-rocking. So it would rock the baby to sleep automatically. And apparently there was a bug on it where a child was thrown 40 feet in the air by the self-rocking cradle. <laughs> I don't know, man. It sounds something like that, man. Something just crazy. Oh, damn it. No one reminded me. I got my three eggs again. All right, all my eggs are there. Let's go. It, it was on a TV show, though, so it wasn't real. <laughs> they were just, you know, talking about how it was. Uh, they were, they're usually when something like that happens on one of the sitcoms, it's usually like a meme. They're just kind of talking about what happened in real life and kind of just, you know, satire. could say you have all your eggs in a basket. You'll man it be like that sometimes. So it's probably going to be like that. And then on the way out, it's going to be a little bit different. Why not make a dropper instead of a bin? I 
I should have made a dropper, man. Realistically. I should have made a dropper. Could do lols, right? I should have made a dropper. <gasps> More larva eggs? How am I going to say no? Keep sweeping, boys. Jeez, man, how much water is that? All right, all right. So far, so good. I have a lot of water I need to drop off into here. How many tiles is this? 24 tiles. All this water is actually not enough to fill up my tile space. This is 10 tiles, 12 tiles. We, we have half the amount. I might have to pump the entire... <laughs> I might have to pump the entire thing. That's impressive. Alright, so the hydrogen is going to be there. We're going to have to have all the power connected. And then all this connects. And I'll probably do... Like that. And then the only thing I need to power is this pump. No, no, this pump. Once I'm done. Cool, cool. This doesn't need automation. That automation is already set. Only if the pressure is above... Let's go with a thousand. That's fine. We'll never over pump hydrogen. Or we shouldn't. And then... Am I out of oil? I might be out of oil. I am out of oil. Feels bad. 28 kilograms. That's good enough. Oh, <gasps> You drop them right there? That's not cool. Alright, last egg. Dude, my oil farm is literally one slickster in a cramped environment. Uh, Alright. So... I need to make this guy not cramped. The eggs are too much. So that's technically these two tiles. Come on, Cthulhu, you got me. You got me. Oh, can't do it. Can't do it. I can't do this? Wait, what? I can't build a pneumatic door? There we go. I was like, that's really weird. Alright, so the easy way to do it, it's literally just do that. If you don't want to make a separate design. The... We're just waiting for water research. Oh my god, we don't have water. Well, looks like we're taking the bathroom water again, boys. Feels bad. Scalding. Ace Cow is fine. He burned himself while making tea. And we are going... Oh, overheat damage? Oh, the door is overheating. I need to make that out of steel. Oh my god, I gotta actually make that out of steel. The strats don't work. So I was going to drop the eggs into an open door. Because that's technically a separate room. <laughs> Feels bad. So I need to make one thing of steel. Which means I need a thing of lime. Oh, a, a bunch of eggs hatched somewhere. I'll take that. Alright, this is not bad. I need to build the top.
they're still going to be overcrowded when they hatch. This is true. This is true. Eventually, I'll have to move them into the ethanol room once I build this large enough. Because I don't want the tepidizer to be running uh, constantly. So I do need to continue my uh, room over here. I want to say it's going to be something like this. Because we're going to use this as a ladder to go up and down. We're going to have rows of three for ethanol. And then just keep going down. I might have to expand and double up on the left side. So we do three and three. And then we have the slicksters at the bottom. And we'll have to relocate them. Gotta have those temporary solutions sometime. <gasps> the radiant piping is done? Look at that speed. I will take that. I will take that indeed. Okay. So with that, let's seal it up. All we have to do now is temp shift. Oh no, I'll do the temp shift plates first. That's going to take a long time. Oh, I don't even have aluminum. Uh, the next best thing would be aluminum ore, but I don't want to waste it like that. I'd rather go for the temp ship plants proper. And, hmm. Alright, it's going to be so time consuming, we, we, we're better off sealing it up right now. Alright, so this is connected. That doesn't have to connect it there yet. I do also want to make another line that's going to be on the outside. It should be one jumbo, one power transformer. Wire, and then conductive wire. Yeah. Using gas instead of liquid? No. I'm going to fill it up. But by sealing it up like that, I could deconstruct this tile and then pump it out. <laughs> that's that's what I'm doing. I have to do it this way. Jank strats. It's always going to be better to use water, but yeah. I can't fill it up all the way without it spilling from, from that method. What's going on, Stefan? I see you over there. How are you? We got to make a vacuum, boys. It's time. And then, for the time being, I will have to utilize this liquid vent. We're going to utilize a pipeline here. Pipeline here. Should be good. How are you, Stefan? How was the Thursdays today? What is good? And how you doing? Adding the water should push up the gases to make this a little bit easier. Ah, and then the pressure isn't right. Wait, how is that one running? Oh, the pipe is blocked. Ah, what a meme. So not all of them can run at the same time? That's actually fine. We don't have that much gas in here anyways. Oh, this is done. So that's all my oil probably. So I got to respill that. Still haven't made that 100 kilograms of steel. And this is ready. I need to connect this. So here, here, cancel. Nice. Is it lagging? <laughs> Congrats to Fawn. You hit a huge cycle count. Have you done all the things you needed to do? Or is that going to be a base where you're trying to go as far as you can? I know people that do that. They try to go as far as they can in terms of cycle count. What's going on, Geek? How are you today? How is Thursdays? Hope you're doing well, Geek. Doing all right. Yo, man. Friday's almost here. The weekend is almost here. Hope that makes it better. Is 
A little bit of CO2, which is fine. I need to pressurize this room so that the polluted dirt doesn't off-gas. And then this should be 95, 25. Exclamation point specs. Is better CPU or better RAM make only run smooth late game? Uh, that's a good question. That's actually a good question. Because it's simulating everything, I want to say CPU. But it depends on if you use mods, I want to say. Looking at my task manager, did I did I pop that up? There it is. I am using 40% of my CPU and only 15% of my memory for oxygen not included. So it's probably going to be CPU, just because of the type of game it is. Simulation, right? Still on my journey to find the, the tear opener. Ooh, good luck with that, Stefan. If you need help, I could show you where it is exactly, but I don't want to spoil it, you know? So, yo, man, if you need help, I could tell you exactly where it is. If not, yo, man, have fun looking for it. And I believe... This will be like that. Oh, that works really well because this just goes up like that and the pipeline lines up really well. Always lucky. Does Oni run GPU? No. I mean, it can, but it's it's not going to be that high. Like a lot of the... Think about it this way. There's no... There's no uh, ray tracing. <laughs> there is no reflections. There is no uh, lens flare. <laughs> There's no, uh, you know, a lot of the things that have high CPU have a lot of those attributes. So I want to say very little. All right, all right. Milligrams, waiting, waiting, which is fine. We got to fill it up anyways. Got to build this pipeline. And then we got to have the feed in, which is going to be a little bit more important. And then we're waiting for temp shift plates at the same time. Four hundred aluminum. We'll get there one day. And still no steel door. Uses twenty five percent of the ten eighty. That's not that bad. It's only a ten eighty. How come this does? Oh, it goes inside. So does that mean this works? That's kind of weird. This pipeline's kind of stuck. All right, so this has to go like this. And then we're going to have gas lines, right? So I think one of them is going to have to be a split line, while the other one is going to be a forward line. So like that is most likely what has to happen. So we'll run this out to the side. And then it's probably going to come out from here. I want to say that's fair. And then we have another one here. That goes down. And then we have the last one that should also go down. This one should go straight through, though, so that it doesn't heat up as long. Comes out here and comes down. So... I think this... Oh, that sucks. We'll have to go like this to get to here. Oh, I see now why that's kind of a pain. Okay. Okay. 
So these three do go down like that. But I do want the back lines. Kind of like that. Because I think what we want to do is one, two, three, four, five, six. So we do five. One, two, three, four, five. So the front five has their own separate line, and the back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are on a shared line. I think that's fair. So it should be like that. With this coming in like that, then how does this get into here? So this has to be a bridge at some point. Uh, it's such a pain. Or we have this, and then we use this on a separate line that goes out into here. So it's like this instead. So I really enjoy RimWorld and games with automation like Factorio. Is the automation in this game Factorio-like? Ooh. Uh... It's, hmm. So we do have something that's like the sweeping arms that you have in Factorio. But no, it's completely different. I would say that it's a lot different because of the camera angle. Factorio is top down, right? Which is a lot different on the camera aspect, right? Compared to this, this is like a 2D side scroller. So the area of coverage is a little bit different. How they pick up resources is a little bit different because you're not running like, because you're not running like a line like this and then you pick up from the line and you drop it off on another line behind it. No, it's completely different. And I would have to say that, yeah, compared to Factorio, it's, it's really different. I will say that the automation like this though, because I haven't gone too deep with the automation in Factorio. A lot of it seems very automatic. And it's not real automation. Like the like the automation is like there's checks, there's gates, there's you know, things like that. Whereas in Factorio, isn't everything kind of just automatic? They automatically pick up something in front of them, drop them off behind, and I don't know. I haven't got too deep into that, so I can't really make a good comparison, but I would have to say, no, it's not the same. Because this actually makes you, you know, go through the logic gates, not gate, and gate, or gate, buffer, filter. And then you could do... Do I have any automation anywhere? Like this. Like, this is an automation setup where I am making it so that... If my liquid in this box, and I have a temperature sensor right here, if it goes above 90, it sends a trigger to one of my gates, and I'm using an AND gate. So this picks up the trigger from two signals, and if both of them are true, it turns on my automation at the bottom. And I use a different setup for some of the other things, like how we refill, and then how we crush the liquid. So this is an example of how automation works in this game. This is a little bit more intermediate, not too advanced. And the basic automation is usually straight line like that. But yeah, that's an example of how automation works in this game. More logic gates, more sensors. If there's brine on here and it's hot, then my doors open. Otherwise, my door stays closed. Legit, I'm just excited to play Oni in the late game because I'm using a laptop before it's unbearable, unplayable, with a huge file size, laggy. I bought a new desktop on 12th gen CPU and RTX. Oh my god, that's overkill. <laughs> you went from like a hand-me-down laptop to a gaming rig. Dude, that is huge upgrade, man. Congrats, Sanwraith. Hope you have fun with that. But that is a big upgrade, dude. <laughs> That's a pretty big upgrade, IMO. All right, so this is this is to jumpstart the power in my system. So we're going to uh, have this ready, and it is. Now we're just waiting for the oxygen consumer lines. I didn't want to run this through here as the output might have caused some issues. So we had to adjust that slightly, which I think it's fine. Now, of course, that means I don't need this anymore. 
actually... Maybe that's better. So I keep it inside the tiles. Like that. I guess it's fine. That should be fine. Oh, the vacuum's almost done. Let's go. I just upgraded to Gen 10. Uh, yeah. Nine, I just upgraded to Generation 10, I think. Or is it 9? So, that just happened, like, last year. So, it's probably going to be a couple years before I even think about upgrading again. So, it's going to be a while. My GPU is still, like, 10 years old. I'm running a GTX uh, 1060. <laughs> I'm not even running a 1080. Ooh, try to pick one up. Only a RimWorld. Uh, I'll tell you this. If you're playing RimWorld, that's a war crime simulator. But the problem with the game is that it's been out for a long time. And I don't know if you're, you know, if you're just playing by yourself. RimWorld has a great mod community. There's a lot of mods you could do. You have a lot of freedom in the game. But RimWorld is a lot more frustrating, even when you know how to play it. And it's built like that by design. So RimWorld is kind of meant to be RNG madness. Whereas if you play Oni, it's going to be a lot harder to master. But it's a lot more uh, calculated. Less RNG more just results of what happens now it depends though they're both different games in the same category oni is more so survival in the terms of you have to provide food you have to provide oxygen which is breathability and then you have objectives you need to do that's on a list and there's a lot of space exploration rim world is a lot of survive don't get bad rng because when you fight other people with the guns it's uh you know, they could get a lucky headshot and then you just have a bad time. <laughs> now, the thing is, is that RimWorld is known as a war crime simulator because that's exactly what it does. You could do a lot of crazy stuff in it. However, everything that you could do in RimWorld to people and the individual, uh, you know, people that attack you, people that live with you, uh, with you, Oni makes up with that in how you could use this as a science sandbox. Not only that, this game, Although it utilizes the periodic table of elements of solid, liquids, and gases, and you get to see, you know, play around with the different gases and liquids. The thing about Oni is that it's probably the best sandbox science simulator out there in terms of both managing the elements and thermal reactivity. So if you want to manage heat and then use the heat to manipulate your resources like melting ice, or heating up or cooling down hydrogen so it becomes liquid form so that you could store more of it and then utilize it in rockets to launch and fly. That's more science-based and that's more oxygen not included. RimWorld though, it's just kind of just generic. Um, don't get hit by RNG, but it's very moddable. But for the most case, if you're a masochist and you like to grind things down, RimWorld's going to be for that. If you actually want to learn and have fun, I would probably say Oni. But I will also say that this game, Oxygen Not Included, has a higher learning curve. RimWorld is a lot of times easy to pick up and get started, but you just lose faster. Versus in Oni, getting started is kind of tough. Because the learning curve from the get-go is a little bit more on the difficult side. But once you do understand and get the mechanics, it becomes like a playground. Getting to that point is a little bit tough, though. But of course, if there's any specific elements, Red Machine, you would like to ask, let me know. I can answer it, as I have 600 hours in RimWorld. But I stopped streaming it and I stopped playing it because it would just, you know, ruin my day. I'd be so close to beating the game and I'd just get hit by some BS. <laughs> also, Oni is a more recent game. RimWorld's been out. Like, it's been out for so long that it's a beaten game. Like, if you do plan on streaming it or something like that, no one's going to want to watch. Because, as I said, it's it's one of those games that's like, it's been out for so long, everyone's already carved their niche and done the things they wanted to do.
Only Rumble are very different games. Yep. They're they're different games in the same category. Colony management category. 100 percent I have a 20 series, still runs everything I want at high quality. I don't feel like I need to upgrade. Honestly, I'm just worried about wear and tear on my GPU. I feel like at some point, if we use it up for too too much, it's just gonna die from wear and tear. <laughs> and I'm hoping it doesn't die from wear and tear, especially now that it's summertime and it's getting warmer. I'm worried about that heat wear, dude. If you like dying RNG, Rim World, hey, it'd be like that sometimes. Appreciate it, man. Probably going to pick up Oni up. Thanks, chat. Gotcha, man. Let me know if you have any questions. When I run Valorant or Apex, it's uh, smooth because I have a 144 hertz, 1 MS monitor. I see you over there, Sanrath. Rumor has a lot of DLC content, though. The thing is, is that the DLC content is cool, but it doesn't change the game up enough for me to enjoy it. Because I have uh, ideology, I didn't get royalty, and I was like, "This is kind of cool." But then it's like at the same at the same time, it feels like the game's the same. Like it just feels like they added a couple of elements, but the gameplay doesn't change. Playing a game, we're here for uh, the cat cam. Hey, what's going on, Jay Richie? How are you, dude? How's it Thursdays? Hey, just upgraded GPU. It, it, did the prices drop? I have heard that the crypto crash is causing the uh, prices of GPUs to plummet. Is that true? Did you find a sale, man? I, I'm, I need to hear, dude. I need to hear about that. <laughs> I, I couldn't afford one during the crypto era. I've been grinding out satisfactory for the last couple months. Was just looking for something else to sink some more hours into. Oh, I got your red machine. Gotcha, gotcha. Dude, man, I'm jealous. I can't run Satisfactory. The 3D graphics and all that, it looks too good for me to run smoothly. Hey, Red Machine, thank you so much for the Prime. Appreciate it, man. Welcome to the city. Enjoy the emotes, D20 dies ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. But thank you so much for the support. Oh, yeah, heat is rough for sure. We don't have AC and have a crappy case for ventilation. I live in fear each summer. Yep. Ideology is cool. It adds a lot. But it's always the same problem for me in RimWorld. I get to the midpoint of the game where I have enough tech that researching the future tech requires me to get like plus steel and stuff and I don't have that. And then my base is situated enough that I don't really need to do anything. And it feels like I'm just waiting for events to happen. Like for hours and hours and hours. It just gets slow at a certain point. That's the problem I have with RimWorld at the moment. I got it MSRP, but I think yeah, it's dropping recently. Okay, okay. That's good to know. I gotta wait for uh, Black Friday. Uh, legit, do your CPU have aftermarket cooler for the CPU? Because the included cooler when you buy CPU is bad. Yes, I did an AIO liquid cooling system. I always do. And that's because I overclock my CPUs. The uh, stock cooling heatsink that they give you is not that it's bad. It's just that you can't upgrade your CPU and throttle it and squeeze more out of it. It's, it's good enough, but if you want to overclock it, you gotta, you gotta use something else. Modding makes the game great. It does. It does. With RimWorld, I mostly enjoy the process of building a really nice big colony. Yeah, but the game punishes you for that. Like, I, I love to do that too, but the game punishes you for that, and I hate that about RimWorld. I have a pre-built. Not a lot I can do with the thing, but I got it for an amazing deal, though. Uh, the pre-built PCs you can't upgrade because that's what I started with. When I was young, I got a pre-built PC, and then I would upgrade parts and pieces of it. Because there's nothing different from a pre-built PC and a PC you built yourself. The only difference is just understanding how to swap in and out the, the parts. What's overclocking? So my CPU, right? In the specs, you could see that my CPU i5-9600K is a 5.2 gigahertz. The stock value is a 4.2, I believe. So if you look up my exact G uh, CPU, the i5-9600, the uh, CPU speed, the gigahertz, is only 4 point something. Overclocking means you crank it up past that. And the problem is, is that you can't do that unless you have extra cooling. Because when you run it on a higher setting like that, it requires a lot more cooling so that it doesn't 
break itself. So overclocking is, yeah, pretty much robotic steroids. 100%. You give it steroids, but steroids are bad for you. So you got to do something else to outweigh the steroids. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but yeah, that's, that's a good way to describe it. Oh, you got the you got the Dell stuff. Yeah, it's a little bit harder, but it's not as bad as uh, Apple. <laughs> Apple actually goes out of their way to make sure you can't upgrade. The Dell and Alienware stuff is a somewhat upgradable. I want to do liquid cool custom PC one day, but it gets expensive. I just use the AIO. A lot of the time, that's that's the easy time. All in one, closed loop, install it, forget about it, and have it die in five years. Yeah, dude, Apple's. Apple's. I don't understand people that defend Apple. Like, they're honestly predatory pricing. And somehow the people are like, no, it's cool. <laughs> and I'm just like, man, you smoking rocks to something, man. Like, how, how are you okay with this? Like, Jesus Christ. Did you not sleep for a couple days to make a decision like that? Pre-builds tend to have lower end power supplies. Just depends on which pre-built manufacturer you go through. Yeah, that's true. A lot of the times you just get what's cheap and they know that a lot of people that are new, they don't know anything about a PC. So they will like skimp on certain categories of it. Red Machine brings up a good point. That's one of the things I see a lot of the times. You will have a PC built to work as is, but looks like it has a lot of upgrade potential. And then you look at the power supply and it's 300 watts and you're like, how the hell am I supposed to run anything with this? <laughs> What's going on, Daki? Thank you so much for the follow. How are you today? How is the Thursdays? All right, my dupes are idle. I need to start working. Let me get a quick sweet job. And then I need to get started on this. This is almost ready. I have an i5 12400F. Can this be overclockable? Uh, yes, I would look up a guide. Sand rate, a lot of the times, the CPUs right now all have guides on the YouTube. You could easily look up uh, someone with that exact CPU, especially all the tech channels out there. And they usually tell you like the safe thresholds, what to do, how to do. But I will say this. If you have a friend that's experienced with overclocking, I would ask them first. Because a lot of the times, you overclocking by yourself, it's not that it's hard, but you can potentially break your computer if you don't know what you're doing. And I mean break your computer means that you're going to try to turn it on and it never turns on again. And you're going to panic and you're not going to know how to fix it. And then you're going to be like, I should have never have overclocked my PC. So I would say watch out, man. There's a lot of things that can go wrong when you're going into the BIOS and messing around with the settings, especially when you're messing with under and over volting. But of course, that's only something specific to overclocking. Ah, but some pre-built are kind of sweet. My husband buys from Falcon Northwest for all his engineers. Yeah, a lot of the times what I try to do is I find a uh, computer shop that does pre-builds, but their custom pre-builds they do kind of like in-house. And then I trust that more than like the main brands that like kind of just streamline everything. Oh, I'm gonna put Norton antivirus on everything. <laughs> it's stuff, man. Does Oni get that self running moment at a later state? It's possible, Nico. The problem is, is that your duplicates will try to kill themselves constantly. And although you can get to a state where they stop killing themselves, they just stop working. <laughs> but yes, you can get to that point where it becomes self-operable. However, that also means you're not pushing towards the objectives. Usually. Oh wow, my breathability has gone way down. Alright, I need to get this running. That's exactly what Falcom does. They build the spec, but does have special cases and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I've never heard of Falcon, but I kind of like... Uh, assume they're a lot like how we have like a micro center over here in southern california there's also a, like a place called newegg 
but they're kind of pricey nowadays. And I think it's because they gotten, you know, a little bit of traction in terms of size. Dupes are kind of dumb, 100% man. Oh crap! Uh, I dropped my coaster. Give me a sec, you guys. Yeah, I just said Micro Center. Hey, we have one of those in SoCal. Falcon's an actual shop, but yeah, Micro Center seat. We don't have one of those here. Yeah. We have a Micro Center three blocks away. Everyone knows Micro Center, man. I uh, go there to the shop sometimes. That's where I get my uh, canned air, or used to. I don't do that anymore. Pre-built CPU is bad. They cut quality parts. Still expensive, but you build PC, it's really good. No, the main issue is not that they put bad parts. Is that they use refurbished parts. You know how many times people bought a pre-built PC just to take the 2080 out of it? Just to realize that is a post-market refurbished item, meaning someone's already mined a couple years onto it and then, you know, refunded it. That's the problem with pre-built PCs. You don't know how long the parts that are inside your computer have been used. That's the, that's the biggest issue. You can't guarantee that all the parts are new canned air yeah you know how your pc has dust inside you could buy a can of air that sprays air out so that all the dust gets out so yeah that's the biggest problem with with uh pcs that you guys buy pre-built a lot of people don't know that that's the scariest thing too the pins were all worn down in the gpu yep that happens man it's uh i hate that practice but it's common practice how about a good fan uh you don't need a good fan, you need a good airflow. So when you have a box, a CPU tower like this, right? You need to have directional airflow. So that means you usually go one direction. You need to have one directional airflow. So if you have a fan facing in and then your fan on this side faces this way, it doesn't matter how strong your fans are, you're doing yourself a disservice by having no airflow. Right? You, 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 that's, that's the main thing a lot of people don't understand. I'm just going to get more fans. You can actually have a situation where you're not dragging enough air out and none of the air actually gets in because there's too much air inside. And then if there's too much air inside that can't leave, it warms up and it gets hotter. But yeah, a lot of people don't think about that. Fan with a funnel. No, you just have to have breathability. So you know how there's uh, some of the PC towers have holes in it? So that you could have um, fans in between the grate. It's, it's built like that for airflow purposes. Most of the time. Similar to what Too Legit said, if you look up OC, there's a lot of vids on proper air ventilation. Yep, 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 yep. A lot of the times, following a guide is pretty nice. You gotta do a research, yeah, man. A PC is an investment. It should be looked at it that way. It's kind of like buying a car. You want to look at everything about the car and know as much as you can so you don't get a bad piece of equipment. So a liquid cooler works. It's just that... The liquid cooling doesn't do anything if you have no air inside. <laughs> That's another thing people do. They drag air out without putting air in. So the amount of air inside is very little. So even if you do have liquid cooling, it doesn't really help. You gotta have good airflow, man. All things work together. Alright, alright. So... The only thing we're missing now is temp shift plates. And I could build exactly one. One, two. I need four temp shift plates, man. This is sad. What's going on right now, man? There's no water. Oh, God. All right, man. I'm just going to pump this water, dude. My dupes are taking forever.
And the line I need to get to is here. And then I do... Well, that's wrong. This. This. And that. And I should be able to do this. Alright. Have a great stream too, legit. Gotta run for show sure, JJ Richie. Have a good Thursday, man. We'll see you later. Hope you have a good one. Whatever it is, you gotta take care of. Alright, for now, we're gonna have to run it like this. Have you ever done a 30k sour gas spoiler? So hard. Uh, what do you mean by 30k? I've done a sour gas boiler. It's not that bad. It, it just requires you to have space materials like super coolant. But I guess it depends on what you mean by 30k. 30k oil? 30,000... Is, is that kilograms or is that Kelvin? So is that temperature? 30kg per second? Is that what you're saying? It's not bad. All you got to do is uh, work on the door compressor and use something like uh, magma as your heat source. So that flashes everything into sour gas immediately. But uh, what, you, what kind of problems are you running into? Maybe I could help out. I don't typically do sour gas boilers because it's like it's so much further in the gameplay and I could beat the game before I get to that point. <laughs> and it seems like every time I build the sour gas boiler, it's just for flexing. Hey, look at me. I can build the sour gas boiler. <laughs> That's what it feels like, man. Honestly. KG. 30 KG per second. That's not that bad. That's just three vents. So honestly, like, if you need help, I can give you some advice. But otherwise, I actually, like, don't very often build one. I have built one, though, if that's what you're wondering. It's not too bad. Alright guys, we're about to suffocate. Our mealwood's starting to die. Not enough gas pressure. Things are looking grim. Guys, no worries though. This is calculated. We got this. We got this. Alright, so we're going to cut the water from here. This is at... 950 per tile. I'm okay with that. So let me cut this. And I got to get rid of this pipeline. I also got to get rid of this pipeline and this vents. Use 12 thermal aqua tuners. Jesus Christ, man. That's a lot. You sure me? Yeah, I'm not I'm not worried. I have algae if I really wanted to tap into it. <laughs> I've algae if I really wanted to tap into it. I'm actually okay. Uh, let's see. They're still... Okay, they can't go in to grab the pea dirt anymore until I get the suits on, which is fine. Not really generating a lot more polluted oxygen, which is fine. Okay. So for this to work properly, I need to have temp shift plates. Problem is, I don't have temp shift plates. Nice, the water's coming, boys. Oxygen is at 600 grams per tile. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. Alright, so this water is going to mean that I get a lot of aluminum, which is what I need. And then from here, let's start connecting this then. So all this connects. I probably don't need this anymore. And that line as well. We're not going to be pumping out right here anyways, anytime soon. So this should allow us to have this connect. And then we'll get some more brine water into the pipeline. Two big aluminum factories. I see you over there. So we need a water sieve from the pump here into here, which is fine. We'll just use this amount of water for this amount of O2 for now. Oh man, everyone's idle. 
Ah man, we're gonna continue sweeping. We gotta continue sweeping. You sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. No worries. I'm sure, mate. That's a message before that one. <laughs> I'm sure, man. No, we're, we're not gonna suffocate, man. We'll fine. We'll be fine. Alright, so this is ready. I can turn it on. I can seal this up. What I need to do is build temp shift plates. And honestly, having the aluminum would be amazing. Oh, there we go. The water's coming in. Oh, that's going to be sweet. All right, so let's up the priority over there. The salt water mix is kind of messing me up. All right, all right. So let's build the first one. Here. So we're going to need to build another one soon. Oh, I'm going to do it, man. I'm going to crush a little bit of aluminum on the rock crusher just to speed this up. All right. We got to straddle the line of suffocation, you guys. I hate to say that, but we got to do what we got to do. And for the time being, we allow the people to get burned. I'm sorry, you guys. Y'all going to have to get burned. Ooh, scalding. I'm sorry, you guys. But we need the pea dirt. <laughs> we need that for oxygen. I need to build a loader in here, man. Just to sweep out the pea dirt. Everyone's getting burned, dude. Everybody is. Spell more taking damage. I see you, man. You is. Come on, man. You're getting burned, dude. It's a bad time. Ooh, the first one. Am I not sweeping aluminum? Oh, it's the hold breath situation. Alright, first temp shift plate is in. Nice, I get my second one. Dude. Do you have steel? I have one steel. <laughs> That's being made right now. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I have steel? I don't know. What should I use steel for, Cthulhu? One steel, dude. It'd be like that sometimes. Dude, y'all need to stop getting burned. Oh, Silent One is actually taking a lot of damage. Alright, man. No one else could go inside. We gotta make a triage cot for the homie. Uh... No, man. You gotta hang out with the Sweetles. Loaders are probably gonna overheat. Oh, that's true. I had my other loader outside. I didn't think about that. Hey, I, I see you. I see you. So we got a lot we gotta do. We got a lot we gotta do. Crush some more aluminum while we can. I need to get this rolling. We took way too long to build this. And I was stubborn trying to use just polluted dirt as an oxygen source. <sighs> Come on, man. More breathability. Looks like it's coming back up here. So we got the second one in. Ooh, we got a third one. Alright, so after that, we need one more right here and we're good. I could leave the ladders in. I need to sweep the aluminum. I do want to sweep up these items as well. And then we could run the cooling loop over. This is at 24 degrees. That should be fine. All right, that's a vacuum. I do want more oxygen in here if possible. So I will try... Oh, I don't have refined metal for this. <laughs> Dude, I am out of refined metals. Just in general. 
I might not even be able to build the conductive wire. So we got that one right there. 50 aluminum? Come on, man. We need to stack that up. And I actually can't power my suits yet either. That's kind of sad. Come on. We need the uh, aluminum, guys. We need the aluminum. Waiting for the water. What a struggle. The water is coming, though. The water is coming. All right, all right. Oh, there we go. It's getting built. Ghost Rider. Getting the job done. 800. All right, the last one. Let's go. Out. That's got to be a lie. I have enough aluminum. Now we just got to scoop these two tiles out, and we're good. All right, how bad is the breathability? It's pretty bad. Oh, I could start crushing chlorine again. That's true. That means the heavy gases uh, rise up again, and I could start deleting that. Hey, let's go. Door crushers for the win. Oh, come on. It was almost done. Hey, we did it. All right, so above a thousand. So it doesn't turn on unnecessarily. He does, man. He will yell at you. He's like, I pooped. And I'm like, okay, it's okay, man. You don't got to tell me. I think he tells me because he wants me to clean up after him. I think that's what it is. All right. So pause, connect, 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 cancel. All that flows out. Now, we're not going to use this for actual breathability. We're going to use that to fill up the suits, as that's what I need to have happen right now. And I think for the reason, we'll just have to do it like this. Very jank and makeshift for now. We just need to be able to charge the suits. Dude, he does it, man. I don't know what to tell you. Spellmore, did you know there's new lulls? <laughs> They added a second LOL emote. Did y'all see that? There's LOL all caps and LOL with the small case U. They added a new LOL, dude. No, no, no. Capital L, small U. And then all caps. Like that. <laughs> That's how you do it. They added a new low emote. I was like, what the hell is that? Why did they add a new low emote, dude? Y'all see that, man? They have it already, and they call it the same thing. Wait, do you guys not see it? Yeah, there's one all caps, and there's one with all caps small u. I could see it. Oh, you don't see it spell more? I wonder if maybe that's better Twitch TV. Show you guys. It might be better Twitch TV. It's a it's a add-on for uh, more emotes. So, like that and like that. Those are the two forms and the two emotes that I see on my screen. Why can't I see it? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like the lol with the lowercase u is better Twitch TV. Okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. That makes sense, too. Oh, I need to do that. And then the last thing I need to do is get my water line ready. So that's going to be... All right, I could put a bridge here, and that's actually going to be fine. And then I will have it like this for now. Actually, let's make that all insulated. Now, it doesn't have to be going into here, but it just goes in and comes out, so it should be fine. 
All right, we're almost ready to prime this up. Are you deleting the liquid that's heated by the air? By the aqua tuner? Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing on this one. So when the aqua tuner gets too hot, we have cold liquid waiting to go in in the reservoirs right here. So once this is hot, we drop it, delete the water, put in more cold water. <laughs> it's not cheating strats baby come on man you mad that i got the technique just because i know how about the uh, motion of the ocean when you use a little bit of lotion they don't think it be like it is but it do man really do be like that sometimes at least give it to the vacuum it's hungry you know how far that is man <laughs> You know how far that is? It's not worth it. Did you know the vacuum in the space right here has a name? And if you go to the Oni database, it's kind of scary. It's called the Void. And there is a uh, very dark entity that's like a stick figure in a shadow. And that's what eats up all the resources. It actually has a name. It's called the Void in Oxygen Not Included. I didn't know that. I stumbled upon that the other day when I was researching. All right, it's ready. All right, so that goes into here, and then we just got to connect that to there. It, it kind of looks like that. Kind of not really. It's like a mysterious, dark, shadowy figure. All right, let's go. So I'm a safety save. Y'all know what it is. It's time to turn it on. And let's begin. Water goes in. There's no power. That's fine. Once we attach the power, we're good. All right. So no one's going to have entrance anymore. This is set properly. This is hydrogen as it should be. And oh, this doesn't have water or power. All right. So I'm going to cut power from here. Because I want them both turning on at the same time. So now that the water is there, we can add the power in. And it should work perfectly. There's no power. No power. Hello? No power? How's no power? How does this have no power? We got power! 20,000 watts! I'm confused. Ah, that got deleted. Alright, so we should be good now. Hey, works every time! Easy does it. Easy does it. Works every time. Alright, let me wait for the hydrogen to accumulate. Alright. Now I don't actually have to do this anymore because the system should be powered by itself. With a little bit of hydrogen. I will connect this though. Just to uh, feed up the smart battery a little bit. So what about the breathability? Now we're going to have suits now. So they don't have to be breathing anymore. Alright, so look at the temperature of my oxygen. It's coming out at... 14 degrees, 15 degrees, that's nice. Low temp oxygen. Alright, the hydrogen is good now, so I could actually have that connect. And then we're running off the hamster wheel for feeding in the power. It's doing pretty good. What, why? Wait, what? Spellmore, what are you talking about? What, why, what? What's happening? What are we talking about, man? All right, so this should be good. Why the Atmo suits? Uh, because I am tired of getting burned every time I go inside. <laughs> because the, the suits will do that to you. They will protect you. So I do have to enable this, and I do have to... This is already enabled. Okay, cool. Just that? Yeah, man. Well, no. Let me keep that disabled for now. It's breathability. So you see how there's bad gases? 
I can't breathe in that area, and they have to hold their breath. I don't want them to do that. Also, when you're going into a room that's separated gases like this, you also have the dupes breathing out if the gas is breathable. I don't want the dupes breathing out CO2 into here because it kind of ruins the system. Uh, not only that, I need to go into space soon. So having an Atmos suit to breathe when there's no oxygen, it's going to be kind of nice. There's a lot of reasons for using an Atmos suit, spell more. But, uh, come on, man. <laughs> asking why I'm, I'm building Atmos suits? No, man. It's, it's asking why I'm doing it so late. Atmos suits are something you always want to gravitate towards. It only benefits you. Hydrogen stockpiles. The grams are getting kind of low. So let me cut that to let it accumulate for a second. The bottom is fine. So now we have breathability for the suits. We just got to charge that up now. So the hydrogen gens are all right. The hamster wheel is trying to accommodate a little bit. Not bad, not bad. So I am producing, and I don't have some of the other things running yet, like the water. Cool. So the aqua tuner doesn't have to be on because we hold enough thermal energy. Why is electrolyzers and liquid? Look at my gas pressure. This is called the submerged spawn setup, uh, Frawzilla. If you're not familiar with it, this is literally the best design known to man that plays this game. If you're not familiar with it, I would recommend, uh, recommend checking out my YouTube video that goes over how to build the values of the liquids, what you can use, and the benefits. As you can see, the main benefit is natural filtration. This is better than a Rodriguez because I will never give oxygen in the top. It's not possible. And then the second thing about this is, look at that pressure. It's over 2,000. This is actually infinite storage. So it's natural filtration, infinite storage, and of course, that means you don't need filters and you don't need that many pumps. So this is arguably, not even arguably, this is hands down the best spawn design you could build in the game. But yeah, check out the YouTube videos. And of course, if you have any more questions to ask, I'll be happy to help. But it is easily the best. All right, so now we got to make this more breathable. All right, so at this point, the aluminum is fine. We got to make more copper and the water feeding in should be OK. I will use the other electrolyzer to bring back my breathability levels. Thank you, Ace Cow. Trying to build something with just one dupe and not much air is annoying. Yep, yeah, it is. The one dupe challenge is not fun. It's annoying because all you're doing is managing that one guy waiting for him to finish. And then it's like, it's so slow when you're low on manpower. It's a tough time, man. 100%. All right. So now I need to stabilize my water source. I also want to add more brine water into the loop. So we do this. We do that. We also cut this half. Okay, something's wrong. Oh, this isn't connected. So I need to do that, which is good. And then I need to do this, which allows the water to flow. There we go. Now I could cut that line and deconstruct those pipes. And then I need to add in more liquid like so. So we're waiting for the water to catch up. And we're good. Perfect. So now we have a cooling loop that goes into our oxygen and cools down our Draco room. That's kind of nice. Now we just got to fill up the suits with oxygen. And then I got to make more suits. I will check. Thank you for all the long. I got one dupe on the second asteroid and he's having a hard time. It's code AF, not that much O2. Oh, good luck, man. You better start peeing on the ground for some extra water, man. Oh, silent one, dude. What are you doing? Go on the triage, man. You just need to rest up. You're getting killed over there. All right, so now that the spawn is good, 
pipe is blocked. I keep having the visual bug. No! We weren't pumping hydrogen. <laughs> it's stockpiled up, but I need the guy running the wheel to be a little bit more efficient right now. We're good though, we're good. So now I need to get to here once the oxygen is okay, and I need to produce more oxygen. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a makeshift bedroom. I have to do this, sadly. Because I don't have the people living inside the houses yet, so I need to make a makeshift barracks. And I also need airflow tiles. All right, so that means this guy's bed is done. Same with these guys. Feels bad now. Should be fine. Should be fine. We're still... Well, this is... Carbon dioxide, if not chlorine. This is doing pretty good. Oh, it's flip-flopping too much. Feels bad. Alright, so the dupes are going to be able to live here now. And then that means, yep, they're going to be gone from there. We got to just remove some of the CO2 for breathability. And I guess for now, that means we got to start mining some of the materials over here. I might want to get rid of my door crusher that's right here. Yeah, I think mining this is, is going to help out. Why is there half rockets in your base? We're going to live inside. These are going to be houses. So when we go inside, they're going to sleep inside. <laughs> they're going to live in there, dude. What do you mean? They're going to live inside. <laughs> hey, Otani coming in with the prime. Thank you so much for the five months, Otani. Much appreciated for support. Yo, thank you so much. Welcome to the city. Enjoy the emo D20 dies ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. But thank you so much for the support. Can you still glitch break the blocks? No, you can't. That's patched out. It's bigger on the inside. Yeah, it's bigger on the inside. So this is a five by four. And then the inside is a... 10 by 8. It's literally double in size. So it's nice. Otani, yo! Joining the dupe quality. Alright, Otani. I got some bad news for you. I think we were not going to uh, get any more dupes than this, and all my dupes are already named. All my dupes are already named. So if you want, I could get you a dupe on the next colony, or we give you a refund. Because I was not planning on getting more than 16. But, uh, sorry about that, man. Maybe next time. Yeah, yeah, maybe next time. Sorry about that, man. But thank you so much for the support, though. Thank you so much for the five months. And, of course, thank you so much for choosing me to use your Prime on. Appreciate it, man. Oh, we have people in suits already? I have, I have someone in suits right now. I'm missing two suits. I guess it's fine. That's not cheating, what do you mean? We gotta give people uh, modular housing. It's gonna be tight. Nah, man, we'll give them a refund. Don't worry. We'll give them a refund. Alright, so the oxygen is great. We need to make sure all the suits are charged. Once the suits are charged, we're gonna not care that it's not breathable outside. <laughs> That's just the realistic part about that. And then I need to start mining this out. It's just fun to watch, and that's already enough. Thank you, Otani. How are you today? How's the Thursdays? And what is good, man? Still not even a uh, 100k cal meets. 58. And uh, next is over 300,000. So I didn't start uh my k cal consumption for my all achievement run until after cycle 50. i had 30,000 meat k cows consumed by cycle 50 and i still made it by 96. you feed your suits 60 to 70 degree oxygen I, i'm a nice guy 
I make sure they have cold oxygen to breathe. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes, but then I gotta have the cold O2 sometimes. I see you over there though, Xkage. So you can do that, what he's doing with the 60 to 70 degree oxygen feed in, that's perfectly fine. When they're wearing the suits, they do not care about the temperature of the oxygen inside. So that's actually perfectly fine. Hope I'm gonna make it. Is he a binge eater? Is your duplicate a binge eater? Because you need him to be a binge eater, otherwise you will never catch up. Cools my base. A lot of heat deletion. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. The problem is, is that if you don't put insulated tiles underneath, it will start to warm up. Because that always happens to me when I use hot oxygen. You gotta put insulated tiles at the bottom, otherwise it starts to heat up eventually. Bottomless stomach is not enough. You need binge eating. Because you have one dupe, and that's what, 1500 kcals per cycle times 100? That's 150 over the course of 100 cycles. That's nowhere close to be enough. Well, we just switched suits. What a guy. And I need to do uh, forever on the worn suits. What happened? Oh, I'm no longer feeding in water. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, man. I'm out of water, fam, already? Alright, so I need to start feeding this water from somewhere. I could feed it from here. Probably don't want to do that yet, though. So we were supposed to do it from here. Alright, we gotta do what we gotta do. I have 6,000 KCAL consumption with 5 dupes, 2 of which are bought on the stomach. Oh, okay. I thought you were running 1 dupe only. That's what I thought. <laughs> you can always add more dupes, so you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I was doing something similar like that as well, early on. Alright, so we need some more water. I think the first thing we're going to use is the toilet water. That seems to be a good first choice. Yeah, it's, it's only 5 million. It's not a lot. It's only 5 million germs. You guys know what it is. That's, that's, it's not a lot. It's, it's very minimal. Kappa. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so we gotta use the toilet water for now. The extra toilet water that I don't mind utilizing. And that I'm not gonna utilize that because it's gonna run out. So we're going to have to start utilizing the polluted water up here. And is there any other source of water? I would have to use any of the water from here, huh? Outside of cooling this down, there's nothing to cool down. All right, we got to start going down to the cool steam vent. So we're going to delete this. We got to do it. And we got to start mining this area out. And I need to also start doing tiles like this. And we're going to do tiles like this just so that we could have uh, movement while allowing the gases to go through. How much KCAL does one binge eater eat? Each stress reaction is 10,000. Each stress reaction is 10,000 KCALs. It's a good amount, to be honest. Take the brine, sure. A real human would literally die, yeah man. It, it's, it's, yo oh, man. X Kage, you've been to America? <laughs> you've been to America, X Kage? I gotta ask that, man, when, when you say that statement like that. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Have you seen the hot dog eating competitions? Have you heard of Kobayashi? 
<laughs> like those guys, man, they don't mess around, man, when it comes to eating. Looks like binge eating is gonna be the only way I do it. No, but Tente, you gotta be unmovable, dude, man. So there is something called professional eating, and what they do is they actually will do things like eat whole heads of iceberg lettuce. Like no dip, no sauce, and just the lettuce. And you know why? When they eat the whole head of lettuce, it expands their stomach while still being just water calories. So they would actually have diets like that so that they could eat more in terms of volume. So they would do that and, you know, work out a lot so that they burn through the calories so that they have an appetite to eat that much uh, KCALs. And then they go into competition. It's crazy, man. I looked into a little bit of the professional eating, not because I wanted to get into it, but it was entertaining. And I was like, God damn, it's actually like pretty tough. I was surprised, man, by how hard it was. Like, dude, eating, eating just a head of lettuce like that, man, I couldn't do it. Like, no sauce, no dressing, man. Because they don't want to eat more calories. Bonjour, howdy all. Wait, you just said bonjourno, howdy? This is Brad Pitt from uh, Inglorious Bastards. What's going on, Mind Builder? How are you today? Bonjourno. I too am French. I can actually get rid of this, huh? Alright, so we gotta remove this. Oh, it's good evening! Ah, I see, I see. Good evening, good evening. How are you today? As you can see, I'm, I'm learning the language still. <laughs> I'm learning the language still. The struggle is real sometimes. Um, well, good to hear, good to hear. Are you a fan of the oxygen not included? Do you like to include oxygen when you're going about your day-to-day -day biz uh, business? Are duplicates constantly trying to kill themselves in your colonies? Well, guess what? We run into those problems as well. So, yo, man, welcome on in. Did we not get the... Oh, the, the pipe's not connected. I was like, where's... Where's my dirty water? Give him my pee water. Isn't that just standard? Yo, man, don't tell him that. <laughs> you gotta give them a little bit of false hope so that they try to include oxygen, even though it's standard and not have any. They don't think it'd be like it is, man, but it do. It really do be like that sometimes. This guy let him know the secret, man, and he's never gonna play the game again. Feels bad. I discovered it just now, your YouTube channel. Hey, nice! Dude, man, if you need help, let me know. I'd be happy to help you out. And of course, we have a lot of guides and tutorials already on the YouTubes if you do need the help. So, uh, yo, man. Oh, we have too much hydrogen. Is this possible, dude? Is this a meme? I didn't expect it to be live. <laughs> it happens sometimes, man. Sometimes it's the luck of the draw. You never know, right? But hey, glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. Alright, looks like we're backed up a little bit on the hydrogen. I need to start releasing some of that. Now I need to put the hydrogen in here. It looks like we are charging a little bit. Oh, the suits are back charging. Nice. Hello there. What's going on, Anubis? How are you today? How is the days? How is the Thursdays? What is good, Anubis? Alright, so I need to get to here so that I could start utilizing the heat from the geyser. So I think I am going to need to make a temporary ladder way all the way down. As I'm going to be mining all this out. Super tired, can't wait for tomorrow to be here to work after rest. Dude, hope you got some beer ready, Anubis. You know what it is, man. Friday's going to be here, got to crack open a beer. 
Gotta uh, get all the things ready, get cozy, get comfy, have the snacks, and dude, enjoy the weekend. But that's gonna happen tomorrow, man. Can't wait. Can't wait indeed. The weekend's always a magical time. Oh, you guys remember this? I have like 10 kilograms of oxygen down here. I'm gonna crack this open right now. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I crack this open. It's not a lot. And legit on City Skylines, yes, we're going to be playing that indeed tomorrow, back into the city. As you guys may already know, we're going to be playing some Skylines. Of course, we're going to be, uh, you know, trying to make the city beautiful, as always. My end week rendezvous, only way to do it, man. You know what's funny? I had a friend in the middle school, and he would always use very long words. And and he he was a character. Uh, when when I went to high school though, I went to a different high school than he did, and I never get to see him again. But he was an awesome guy, because he would always use words like "ah, oh, let's rendezvous with Johnny." And what he meant was, in the passing period, he's going to the class we were leaving from. And we were going to the class he was leaving from. So we would always pass each other on the way to uh, class on the passing periods. <laughs> he was an eloquent little fellow like that. Tomorrow is St. John's Baptist Day. What does that mean? Do, do, do we get days off tomorrow? Is that a bank holiday? Is oxygen going to be included? I have so many questions. All right, all right. So we're going to be going down to here to potentially get the uh, pee water out. This is a little warm, but it's not that bad. Oh, it is. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Dude, man. If, if someone becomes president of the United States, can they start adding holidays to the calendar for us Americans specifically should be included all right man I gotta check the tapes I gotta make sure it's there because <laughs> I'm thinking yo man I'm about to be president just to add some more days off <laughs> the 15th of every month is a holiday <laughs> start adding stuff like that man This is to better the people, Kappa. Nah, man. People be working too much. That require Congress. Come on, man. I, I, I'll try to sell it to them. Hey, man. It's another day off y'all get as well. <laughs> so technically, your per hour rate is going up. And they're going to think about it. Like, you know what, man? I wouldn't mind another day off. Sure. <laughs> Make me president. You'll have a one-week holiday. I see you over there, Anubis. Watch, watch what happens. Anubis is going to be like, yeah, it's Christmas to New Year's. We already get that off. <laughs> we get that week off anyways. What are you talking about? I see you over there, man. Don't don't try to hit us with the, 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 the bait and switch, man. Just saying. Yo, G Money! What is good? I see you over there, G Money. How you whiz? How goes the Thursdays? We're doing alright, man. We almost suffocated. But we're, uh, got the spawn up and ready. And we're just pumping away the oxygen. Doing pretty well, though. But, uh, how you be doing, G Money? How was your Thursday so far? You doing alright, man? Yep. Well, just have to try it, man. I see you over there, man. Coming in, thinking you you mad slick. Unless my boss charged 2x my salary to the client. Yo, man. That sounds like the boss is a, a bastard. <laughs> Ultimately, he's not paying the extra. Oof. That's a bad case situation. Uh, a bad case situation most of the time. Still at work? Oh, feels bad, man. At least Friday's around the corner. Hopefully, it's, uh, you know, just another day, man. 
And we'll all be free. 45 minutes? That's not bad. Just go take a dump for 45 minutes. Oh, uh, boss, I got diarrhea. I think I shit my pants. I'm gonna be in the restroom. All bosses are bastards. Yep. You can tell Anubis is play has been playing uh, Elden Ring. He's getting bodied by the bosses. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Alright, we got hydrogen coming out. Oxygen's coming back in. So the breathability is going back up. Ah, so water is still an issue. Alright, so I just need water. In general, at this point. So... I'm actually going to do the sacrilegious thing that I didn't want to do. I can't believe I'm going to do it. But I think I have to at this point. I'm kind of mad that I kind of have to. I'm kind of mad that I kind of have to. First of all, let's mop up the water. Let's make this line connection. Probably not going to need the deodorizers there anymore. So we're going to bop those. Mamba, the Mambas is sleeping. What's going on, Deconverse? How are you today? How is the Thursday? You doing all right, Deconverse? We're going to run a Tepidizer. I'm mad, dude. Oh, wait. So do I, as I'm the team leader. <laughs> I'm a Fury Warrior, level 300. Level 300? That's got to be a meme. Level cap got reset, dude. You're probably level 60 right now. How the hell are you 300? That shouldn't be possible. <laughs> like, actually not possible. Uglar Visk, what is good, Uglar? How are you doing today? How is the Thursdays? You doing all right, man? I have to use a tepidizer to boil my polluted water so that it's sievable. Feels bad, man, but I gotta do it. So we're gonna do something like that right now. We gotta start making a tepidizer setup for this just to sieve the water. I think we'll do it here. I'll have it separate. I don't want to share the wall yet. And then eventually we'll have to get to the cool steam vent to cool it down and then use that as a water source. Alright, so we'll probably put it in this box. And... Oh, this is a 5. Ah, so I could modify this slightly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to do that with cool salt water. Yeah, man. I was, I was hoping that I didn't need to, that I could get by, but it, it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. So we'll jump across the top, we'll leave two space gaps so that we could still navigate underneath, and then it's going to be a tepidizer. Which means... Hmm. It's going to have to be like that, which I guess it's fine. And we're going to run it off of one wire. And we'll have it here. So two wheels on the one tepidizer. We have to add water here. Shouldn't be too bad. What do I have a lot of water of? Not water, liquid. Nothing. Maybe brine. Run a cooling loop through it? That's that's exactly what I'm going to be trying to do. We're going to run the cold water through the brine. The problem is, is that I don't have a lot of water I could already just go in and pitch upon. That's kind of the issue. I don't have a way to do that. I just don't have water in general. If I may... A water filter wouldn't be more efficient? No, 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 no. I'm not boiling the water. The water is in negative temperature. So if I were to sieve it as is, my pipes break because water at minus 10 freezes. So I'm heating up the water above zero so that I could sieve it and not freeze my pipes. That's all I'm trying to do. 
Okay, legit, my dear friend. I'm going to bed. See you tomorrow. Have a good one, Anubis. We'll see you on the cities. And of course, have a great Friday. Or at least, I hope you do. But yo, rest well, rest easy. Have a good one, my friends. Right? So I'm not boiling the water to get it to become uh, regular water. I'm just heating it up a little bit because the sieve is going to freeze my pipes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the, I saw the train of thought that you had. It's like, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not freezing this. <laughs> it's not going to be like that. Ooh, I get aluminum for this? This is really nice. So I technically want a shutoff then. That's kind of funny. So... Aluminum works really well here. It actually works really well. And this has to go like that. And then not only that, I have to have a bridge, probably here. And then I'll have radiant piping, like that. That's enough. And then we'll have a liquid pipe thermal sensor right here. And then the automation, left to right. All right, so pipe direction looks good. This way to that way. Hot water comes out, and then we got to fill it up probably with brine that's what we have the most of right now anyways I actually don't have a lot of brine anywhere uh, so it's gonna take some time for us to fill this up with enough brine and I want to do probably brine and water I'm not gonna have full tiles but I need to be able to submerge it in liquid. And I also don't want this connect again. And then after I'm done with that... Well, it doesn't have to look like that. But we need the water to go down. So I think what I need to do is... Something like this. And have it come out this way. Oh, and then we could all come off of the same line. Oh, that's perfect. Just like that. Speaking of Brian, I'm eating Beats right now. Beats, Battlestar, Bear Beats, Battlestar, Galactica. Okay. I'll see you over there. Mamba Stretch. Mamba Stretch indeed. Look at his legs. He's sleeping like a human. Because he likes to copy how I sleep. So he's sleeping on his back, and all of his legs are facing the sky. <laughs> the Mamba special. Mamba watches how I sleep, and how I sleep on my back. And he tries to copy me. So he sleeps on his back. Beats, Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Yo, man. Who knows about The Office? <laughs> I see you guys over there. Uglarvisk? Stressed out? What happened, buddy? Why are you stressed? Dead tired? Your friend was snoring. Oh, no. Feels bad. You didn't get a good night of sleep because your homie was snoring. Oh, and you're getting stressed out. Who's snoring, dude? Where do you sleep? You sleep right here. Ace Cow is not a snorer. Was it Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow? Yo, man, who's snoring? We got to isolate them. <laughs> Who's snoring, man? We gotta put them on a different bed by themselves. Who was that, man? Silent One is a snorer. I mean, that's kind of like... It goes against his name. But I guess we gotta find out. He is! Oh, okay, we moving him to the end. Come on, Silent One, you lied to us. This guy snores. And his name is Silent One. Hey, Uglarvis with the 50 bits. Thank you so much for the Mamba Meows. I can't believe that guy lied to us. Alright, we still need to get more water. How much is here? We need 400 liquid per tile. 400 kilograms, we're good. So this is going to be water now. And then I need to do this. 
Oh, this needs power. Yep, we're gonna need it like that. And then the automation for this, we could try to do like a thermal sensor. So that we don't need it to be that hot. Comfy beds are far enough apart, right? That's true. I could make some uh, comfy beds. Call the dude the purring monster. Yo, man. The purring monster? Guys, if Mamba becomes a purring monster and the initials are PM, I too have to get an initials with the letters P and M. And I'm going to be trying to go for the Prime Minister. Guys, if you guys have Amazon Prime, you guys can help me become the Prime Minister of Twitch. By giving me all your primes, I could stack it up and claim that I have the most primes out of everyone in Twitch. And then I could claim the title as the Prime Minister. Guys, help me out. <laughs> you gotta help me out, fam. I gotta get that title. One of these days I will. But guys, if you guys didn't know, if you guys have Amazon Prime, you guys should support your favorite streamer. And that happens to be me, that would be amazing. Y'all know what it is. You guys, if you guys already pay for your Prime, all you guys have to do is link that up to your Twitch account and you guys get one free sub per month to your stream of choice. And of course, you know how Amazon is. They make you automatically, they do not allow you to automatically resubscribe. So you're going to have to do that manually, unfortunately. But you guys will have that there at no additional cost to you. Wait, that was Mamba's real meow. Yeah, he woke up. The Mamba woke up. He heard you guys talking smack. So he's right next to me right now, trying to get some head rubs. Bruh, hey, old man, I had to do it, Ace Count. That was, it was a good way to just slide in there, you know what I'm saying? I had to slide in ever so uh, slightly. I gotta, I gotta do the plugs, man. <laughs> oh, man. Bob Lennon? Isn't that guy on the Beatles? Shame! I had to do it, man. I got, I got, I do this for a living. If I don't say that, if I don't do the plugs, no one's gonna do it for me, and that's what I've realized. Cause, dude, have you guys seen the statistics? I think it's like of the one percent of streamers that are worldwide, only one percent of the one percent make a living wage. Meaning they're actually make enough from streaming that they could support themselves. 1% of the 1%. That's crazy, man. Uh, there's too much uh, gas on that tile. I guess it's fine. So green signal, if it's below 60, will be what we'll go for. Lurk. It's gotta go, it's midnight, oh crap. Have a good one, spell more, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for being here, dude. And of course, hope you have a good one. Do I have any extra water anywhere? Oh, right here. Let me grab that real quick. I gotta fill this up. I gotta deconstruct this so that the gases could come out. That's actually one of my issues right now. Two gases. Come on. Come on. The CO2 doesn't want to leave, huh? Feels bad. All right, the next strat I could do is put an airflow on that tile. Oh, no, it's gone. It's gone. We did it, boys. All right, so I could trap that there now and trap that there now. And I actually don't need that much water on these two tiles. I could have it be very little. We went from having 200 plus channels on TV to 1 million plus channels on Twitch. Yep. It's crazy, man. If you ever look up the Twitch stats of how many streamers there are, it's kind of disheartening if you want to get started. Daily smiles. Can we get some happy faces in chat? Any type of smiles you guys can do. If it's an emote, if it's a Mamba emote, if it's just a smiley face. Can we get some smiles in chat, man? Semicolon parentheses. Y'all know what it is? <laughs> 